Hello, Pisces. How are you all doing? My goodness. Mid-March already. How are you holding up since the Virgo full moon? I feel like that moon really helped bring people, uh, like, looking inside, figuring out what they want to do with their life and what they're going to give and bring. But March is a jam-packed month because we have, we have two full moons. We had one on the first, and we have a new moon on the 17th in your sign, in Pisces. And then we have a full moon in Libra on the 31st, which will be a blue moon because it's the second, second full moon in one month. So let's see what's going on for you guys. This is gonna be a general reading. Although I keep saying that, but a lot of my readings have been going like in the love direction. So I don't know, that's just what's showing up. So it's a general reading March 15th through the 31st. Um, but we'll just see what, what the cards have for you. So any messages for Pisces March 15th through the 31st, 2018. I do feel like you guys have movement forward. So we have the chariot. We're starting with the chariot, which is a balancing between the ego and the subconscious or your light and your dark aspects. And I know Pisces, you, you guys are really deep and really emotional, but on the outside, you like to play aloof and a little, I don't want to say flighty, but just kind of aloof. So you have these like really deep inner emotions, but on the outside you play it light and cool and really fun and playful. And I feel like this month really wants you to balance those out between those two aspects of yourself. Because the chariot is movement forward, but you can't move forward straight if you're unbalanced. Because if you're too much in the ego, you're gonna go off this way. If you're too much in the subconscious, you're gonna go off this way. But only when you have both of those and you accept all of those aspects of yourself, you know, it's okay to have these really, really deep, deep loving emotions like you guys do. And it's okay to also be really playful and aloof, but understanding those two aspects of yourself is, I feel like where the power is that can really propel you forward. Next, we have the Six of Coins, Six of Pentacles. So this is a place of stability, you know, where you feel like you're really proud of what you've built and you're in a place where you're able to give. You're able to give more, which I think that makes sense because if you're able to really balance these two aspects of yourself and get really grounded in who you are, in all aspects of who you are, you will be able to give more. And the only thing I feel with this card is be discerning in who you're giving to and make sure that they're genuine and they actually need it. Sometimes I feel like these two characters down here on the bottom, you don't really know if they need to be begging or if they don't need to be begging, right? if they need your help or need your love or your financial support or if they don't. So being in a place to give is awesome, but just be a little discerning with that. That's all that I'm, I'm feeling there. Um, but then we've got the seven of wands. So what are you, what are you battling with yourself in this? With your passions and desires. You know, if you look at this guy, he, who is he fighting? What is he fighting? I sometimes feel like this is an inner, an inner struggle. Like you want to move forward, but you're kind of caught up here. So are you having a hard time accepting all aspects of yourself? You know, with this new moon in Pisces on March 17th, it's really going to propel you forward, but only if you let it. Only if you let it. So whatever you're resisting, uh, I'm going to pull a few more cards. Whatever you're resisting, you have to just trust that it's going to move forward and that you don't have to fight. You don't have to battle. Things can actually be 
easy and effortless. There you are, King of Cups. Um, okay, so if you're able to, with this new moon, surrender and let the newness and the new beginnings come in and the chariot to move you forward, you've got the world. You've got the world, which <clears throat> is the end of a cycle. But it's a balance in all things. So I find this a really beautiful position for this card because with the new moon, if you are able to let go of the fighting and really embrace all aspects of yourself, the light and the dark, the aloof emotions, and the really deep, passionate emotions, you'll have the world. So, you know, I love this full, complete circle here. It's very balanced. And then you've got the character in the middle that is just sitting pretty. They're happy. They're surrounded by all this abundance. I think, Pisces, you really can have it all. You can have financial success. You can have uh, a balanced, harmonious relationship that serves your highest good. And I think the world is trying to tell you that. But in order to get here, you've got to give this up. You've got to quit the fighting with yourself or resisting. Okay? Because even when the world comes in, you still feel like you have to make a decision. So the Seven of Cups, look at all of these, you know, cups are, are, are emotions and Pisces as a water sign, you're very emotional. So what are you confused about with all your emotions? Do you feel like you don't know which direction that you want to go? Sometimes I feel like this card can represent an illusion, you know, feeling like you have to make a choice or feeling overwhelmed, but it's actually not real. The overwhelm is not as big as you think it is. So again, this might connect with you wanting to create a battle when there really doesn't need one to be there. It's just an illusion. All these choices are just an illusion because I feel like you know what, what you want and you know that you can have, you can have it all. Because here you are, King of Cups, sitting solid really embracing all of your emotions and knowing that is where your truth is. Look at how solid this King of Cups is here. You know, it's like he's looking out into his future, solidly holding that, that cup. He knows who he is and what he has to bring to the world. Okay, so if you can be solid and accept all those aspects of yourself, you really can have it all. And I think this is a really good month to plant those seeds, especially with the new moon. It's all about new beginnings, newness, creating a new cycle, new patterns, new desires. So let's see what else we got here. All right, so we've got the seven of coins. Interesting. So I feel like with work, you know, with with your finances and with your work and where you're at, you do feel like you've reached a good place. You've worked hard for this because we also have the Seven of Pentacles here, which the Seven of Pentacles is you taking a step back and really acknowledging all that you have and all that you have worked towards, which we need to do. It's okay to feel proud about what you have built because that will create more abundance actually. And I also feel like, you know, maybe this is a month where you take a step out and you don't focus so much on work. I think this month really for you is going to be focused on like fun and love and, and more, more playfulness. And the chariot wants to move you in that direction towards the world and really having, having it all. But you're still conflicted. Why are you conflicted? Because we've got the, the five of swords here which is almost like the end of a battle. Either you're walking away or your opponents are walking away. Actually, with where this is positioned, I feel like this is you. This is actually really good. Surrendering, fighting. 
you're done. You're ready to just move away from this inner struggle and this inner battle. But I think because you have acknowledged those different aspects of yourself, if you look at this guy, he kind of has a smirk on his face, a little bit mischievous, like he knows something that his opponents don't know. So maybe this is you being with yourself and acknowledging those, you know, goofier aspects of yourself and being okay with it. And anyone who doesn't agree with it, they'll just go away. They'll just, they won't be in your life anymore. Because as you're here with the world and you're feeling really grateful with everything that you have and you've given up the confusion, you've given up the fighting, okay, you're giving all of this up. And then in comes the lovers, which is something completely out of your control. The lovers comes in completely divinely guided, whether people are ready or not for this. But I feel like you are ready. I feel like you are ready because you've already worked on moving forward. You feel pretty solid with work and with what you're building. You're sure of your emotions. You know, you've got the, the king of cups here in the world. And then you've got the lovers come in. This is really beautiful. Especially for the lovers to come in towards the end of the month. So with, around the, the new moon in your sign, you're ready to take, take on the world and embrace it all and really stand in your power. And then by the end of the month at the full moon in Libra, You've got the lovers or a new relationship coming in. And the lovers card is very, very powerful because it's something from above. It's definitely divinely guided because look at how powerful this woman is up above these two lovers down here. So you might have, I mean, it might even be a Gemini, an air sign coming in, coming in for you. So that is pretty positive. You've got a month with a lot of moving, moving parts, but all in all, you know, you're starting out as the chariot, you've got the world in the middle, and then you're ending with the lover. So three major arcanas. I like this for you, Pisces. I like it a lot. Just, you know, stay with yourself and really embrace those heavier emotions and the lighter aloof ones. That's what makes you guys so dynamic and so special and so different than any other sign. Okay, so I'm going to pull one more card here to bring it all together. Get any last messages for you. Trust. I love it. The perfect card. Trust. Allowing movement forward. Allowing yourself to love all parts of you. The light and the dark. The masculine and the feminine. Trusting, trusting that you can have it all and really believing in that, really believing in that. And then you've got the lover. So trusting that whoever this person coming in is supposed to be in your life. There's no mistakes here, but you have to really trust that and allow it to come in. So I hope that resonated with you guys, Pisces, and... I always love to know in comments, and if it didn't resonate, no problem. Check out your rising sign or your moon sign. Sometimes uh, those will connect you better. And I always tell, you know, don't try to force this reading to fit into your life. It either will or it won't, and that's okay. So uh, this was the reading for March 15th through the 31st. I will be really excited to see what happens in April moving forward after this shows up. So that's it. Bye, Pisces.